Hello, my name is Jeff Anderson. I'm making this video to welcome you onto my teaching website and tell you just a little bit about my stees or my style as an instructor. My entire life as an instructor is dedicated to inspiring, encouraging, and supporting you to create significant learning experiences in my classroom. To do this, I want to get started right. I'm reminded of one of my favorite quotes that goes something like this. College is a place where a professor's lecture notes go straight into a student's notebook without passing through the brains of either. In many of my own college classes, I found this quote to be painfully prescient. But as a teacher, I work really hard to create a space in which you are in control of your learning. I want to do everything I can to empower you to approach your learning in an active, thoughtful, and intentional way. To this end, I believe it's super important for us to define exactly what learning is. Let's define learning as a process that leads to change, which recurs as a result of your experiences and increases your potential for improved performance and future learning. When I have this conversation with my students, I like to call out three critical components of this definition. The first one is that learning is a process not a product. Education is one of the spaces where we sell something that cannot be packaged. We sell a process that happens in your brain and is dependent on 100 percent on you. I like to say that as a teacher I actually can't do my job well by myself. My entire job as a teacher is to inspire learning, but that process happens in your brain. One of the really cruel ironies of learning is that I cannot see how you've learned. In fact, the only way that I can measure learning is to infer what has occurred in your brain by work you produce and actions you perform. Thus, when we work together, I'm going to be giving you a lot of assessments and I'm going to record grades associated with that. All of those assessments, tests, assignments are designed so that I can get some insight into the process that's happening inside your brain. That process, that really, really beautiful, crucial process that we're going to call learning. The second def part of that definition is that learning involves change. In particular, learning involves changes in your knowledge, beliefs, behaviors, and attitudes. I like to say that learning unfolds over time. It doesn't happen in an instant, but instead happens over a series, over and over sequential processes that happen over days, weeks, months, etc. If the learning is really powerful, the thing that I believe is that that change has a lasting impact on the way that you think and act. If I do my job well in my classes, the knowledge you build here and the experiences that you create will stay with you for many years to come, hopefully a lifetime. The last thing I want to say about learning that is encoded in, in that definition is that learning is something that you do for yourself. I don't do learning to you. There's no such thing as teaching, in my opinion. The, the, the verb to teach in our media is if I can like cut open your brain and then like rearrange the cells in some way that I have control over. And that's not how this works. Learning is something that you do for yourself. It is the re direct result of how you interpret and respond to your experiences, conscious and unconscious, past, present, and maybe even future. I've structured this entire experience that I create for my students in a way to allow you to control your learning. Every day we work together, I want you to be actively engaged in guiding, controlling, and thinking about your learning. This definition of learning reminds me of my second favorite quote in this space, which is, learning results from what the student does and thinks, and only from what the student does and thinks. The teacher can advance learning only by influencing what the student does to learn. When we work together, our time is going to be structured and focused on creating significant learning experiences for you.
I hope that we as a team make this significant, thoughtful, and fun. Look forward to meeting you in person. Take care.